hi guys morning i hope you guys are all doing well so today we are off to ikea it's really early in the morning well it's not that early it's like about nine ish um ikea opens at 10 but before that we're gonna go get, grab some breakfast because i'm literally starving my belly's rumbling so much so yeah we're gonna go and grab some breakfast and make our way to coventry because the coventry ikea is the closest to us leicester it's about 35 minute drive or something so it's really not bad so yeah well i'll just put water in the car because you can't travel without your car being fully functioning like make sure Okay, I just realized I got some like pen mark on my hand. But yeah, if like if you didn't know this, but I'm sure everyone knows as well. Like, before you obviously do a long a long journey, you should always check the water levels and everything. And he just enjoys doing that, so I always leave that to him. <laughs> but anyways, we're going to IKEA today. I'm really excited. I'm gonna be. I think I'm gonna do in um an ikea haul i've never done one on my channel i think it's gonna be really interesting plus i recently bought the massive cupboard from ikea so i might feature that in the haul obviously i can't really show it to you but i can just show you guys a little clip of the of the thing we're also going to get some drawers for the cupboard so like you can like pull yeah you know the pull out drawers where you can put like your undies or like your pjs and stuff in it so you are going to pick that up i'm excited to go to ikea so i'm excited to bring you guys along with us and yeah Say morning. Morning. So yeah, um, we're gonna go IKEA. I'm gonna see you guys there. But first and foremost, we're gonna grab breakfast, aren't we? Are we? What do you mean? Obviously, we haven't had breakfast. Are we? A man starving out here. How are you not hungry? You, the first thing you do when you wake up is like, where's the food? So. Okay, so basically we're in Ikea, as you guys can see, but the lighting is terrible here. Basically, we're confused now because we've got this basket and we've just measured it with the measurements that we have, obviously we've taken at home, and they're way too big. And then this one is way too small, so I don't know what to do now. We're a bit confused. Us, us, us the lady behind because we're just like, what do we do now? Because basically we want to get these little baskets to put in our cupboard, the new cupboard that we bought, just underneath the rails. It's gonna look so cute. And then we could put like PJs or like undies and stuff and that'd be just about right. So Adel's just asking the lady and hopefully they have it, then we could buy it. But yeah, I'm so excited to show you guys everything that we picked up. Like honestly, we got some really nice bits. <sighs> I'm tired now but I love coming to Ikea at this time it's a Tuesday and it's like really early so it's so good comparing to like when we went to the weekend we went last Saturday with my mum um, I didn't vlog anything because my mum we were helping my mum out and like choosing stuff for her like living room and stuff so yeah that's the reason why haven't spoken to you guys in a minute where how what how have you guys been i hope you guys are all doing well i've missed you guys honestly so much sorry about my croaky voice um 
still kind of recovering from a flu, still have the flu, caught it from my dear husband, Adol, if you're watching this, thank you, I love that, but um, yeah, I feel like there's a bug going on and everyone's pretty much caught it, and if you haven't caught it, you're about to catch it, because like everyone's got it, and he caught it from his, like, his friends um, at work and stuff, so he gave it to me, which is great, but anyways, I am... Um, yeah, so I wanted to start this weekly vlog. I haven't vlogged in literally ages. I'm not too sure if it's going to be a weekly vlog or just a vlog in general, like a day vlog or I'm just not sure. Basically, I feel like picking up the camera and speaking to you guys. It's been a hot minute. But I would just put my face on, get ready and do a quick montage and just maybe talk about a few things I'm currently loving. I don't know. I guess I will. Anyways, um... So yesterday, I don't know if you guys can see, my skin has cleared up so much, mashallah, like, please, if you're watching this, say mashallah, but <laughs> I don't want to know spots, but yeah, like, I feel like my skin has cleared up a lot, which is really, really good, it makes me really happy, um, I've used this face mask yesterday, I don't know, basically, it's this one here, um, it's a cold plunge pore mask and I used this yesterday on my skin and honestly I kid you not this is not paid or nothing or just thought I put that out there because some people get a bit funny about it and the scarf is really irritating me already and I've just popped it on anyways yeah so I used it yesterday and honestly it was so nice it made my skin feel so clear like today my skin feels so nice and soft so I love that um so yeah I am gonna I just thought I'd share this with you guys, just in case someone's wondering about that. I also got the face mask. They sent me like a whole goodie bag, so thank you so much. Um, I will leave everything that I mentioned in the description box below, so if you wanted to grab yourself anything. Oh, this scarf. These silky scarves just don't go well with me for some reason. Anyways, I'm going to be using the gel um, brightening serum. This one over here. I'm going to pop that all over my face because it needs a bit of hydration. I've washed my face today morning with the Body Shop Seaweed Collection thing imaging. Um, I love that for my skin because my, my skin is like combination oily. So, And then I'm going to jump in and I don't know if I need a pin because this is really going to irritate me. Let's just put a pin, shall we? Because the whole skin... The whole time I'm just going to be fiddling with my scarf and it's going to bug someone. It's bugging me already, so let's hope you stay there. Anyway, so now I'm going to move on to the new brightening serum. I am so excited to try this out. I've never tried this. I usually just go with the whole seaweed collection, so I usually go for the moisturizer, but they kindly sent me this and I was like, yes, I love skincare anyway. So, of course, I was down to trying it out. Okay, it's I used the eye cream last night and it had this kind of like a citrusy smell to it. So I'm kind of smelling this if it has a citrusy smell. And this doesn't smell this doesn't smell citrusy at all. So love it. Anyways, I'm gonna blend that all in. And actually, yeah, now it has a citrusy smell. It has like this orange citrusy smell to it. Which I don't mind. It can be quite refreshing in the morning. It's a brightening serum, so it makes your skin nice and bright and fresh which it currently needs right now because come recovering from a flu that's basically what you need okay because your skin can be looking hella dry hella mucky so this oh my god I love that that makes my skin feel so nice yeah I'm digging that you know I'm not too fond of the whole citrusy smell but it feels really nice on my skin. It feels really light. And now, you know how some creams can be really heavy on the skin and quite sticky? This doesn't. This dissolves right into your skin. It keeps your skin nice and hydrated and soft. So, well, happy about that. So, okay, I'm going to move on and do a really quick montage doing my skin, uh, my makeup. And then I shall speak to you guys in a minute. I'm also going to be whitening my teeth because I haven't whitened my teeth in literally ages and that's kind of bad. So, yeah, I'm going to be doing all of that. So, enjoy the montage. makeup this is how my makeup looks I went for a bit of a more 
I went for a bit of a smoky eye. So I've got like dark grey on my eyes and then like a um, kind of smoky brown eye. And then I just smoked it underneath my eyes as well. And I thought I'd just go for um, normal lashes today because I applied fake lashes and it was just a bit too dramatic for my liking. Because the makeup was so dark as it is so I thought why not just go for normal mascara on my lashes and that's it. And also, I thought I'd come down and show you guys my new prints. You're probably wondering, oh my god, what is behind you? It looks pretty dramatic. But basically, um, actually before I even start, I just realised that my top's inside out. Like, my top has been inside out this whole time I was vlogging, like, the first clip and this clip. So please excuse that the fact that my top is inside out. Anyways, it's cool. I'm going to turn the camera around. I'm going to show you my brand new prints that I just got. I am so excited to show you guys because I... I just love it, um, I absolutely love it, it's gorgeous, and I'm just going to shut up and show you guys, okay, let's, let's show Okay guys, so these are my brand new prints that I just got, oh, I love them, they just make my whole lounge look so much more brighter, just, it makes this plain wall look just a lot more, like, put together, because we have this little plant, this little plant by himself over here, and he's a bit sad at the moment. So we thought, why not get some print for this wall? And basically, as you guys can see, it's made a dramatic uh, difference, as you guys can see. And the whole, please excuse how messy my lounge is at the moment, but the whole theme of my lounge is like grey and this kind of mustard yellow. So, of course, we had to get these prints to go with that. This is kind of a Moroccan style um, inspired, so... Let me go close up and show you guys each individual one. It's kind of got like this funky door that reminds me of Tunisia so much because all the doors in Tunisia just kind of looks like this. So I love that. It reminds me of my holiday. Got this print here. Oh, I love this one. This is literally my favourite. It's just so beautiful. A lovely sun. I don't know if this is sunrise or sunset, but nevertheless, it's so pretty. And this is actually Adol's favourite print. And it looks like that. So as a whole, this looks stunning. This is a combo. Hey guys, happy Saturday. Sorry, yeah, the sat nav's on by the way, if you couldn't you couldn't hear it already. Basically, we are on the way en route to Birmingham. I look speed check zone. That's gonna be really good. I look a bit dead, as you guys can see, because we um, well I'm off to Birmingham to get my lashes done by my favorite lash technician she's so so good so i thought i would just film the before so this is me with no lashes on and then i'll show you guys obviously when i get it done if you guys want to know where i get it done and who by it's by mariam ban on instagram i will tag her and i'll leave it in the description box below so um, i'm not getting paid to say this or anything like that but i honestly think she does an amazing job and she's really really talented so if you guys want to get your lashes done then i will leave it for you guys um, I've got my coffee um, well, en route, but basically we are now got stuck in the 50 mile per hour road thingy imaging, which is so annoying. I hate the fact that when you come to Birmingham, it's like 50 miles. I don't, I don't get it. I don't know why, but yeah. yeah. By the way, I'm supposed to be there five. I'm supposed to be at her house in like literally five minutes, but I'm like 40 minutes away, so I'm running late because of the traffic, because how busy it is on a Saturday. We didn't think it's gonna be this busy. But yeah, so, sorry girl, if you're watching, sorry. Okay guys, so I'm done. I've just got my lashes done. As you guys can see, here's like a close up of the lashes. I love them. Um, I went for the larger one this time. I went for, I think she had 15 inches or something. I'm not sure, but they're actually really, really nice and they're comfortable. And um, I always get it done by the same lady. Um, her name is Mary Ban on Instagram, so if anyone's interested, then I would definitely recommend her because I love how they look. They feel so comfortable. My eyes are not red this time. My, re my eyes usually go really red when I get them done, but this time it's, it's good. I think I'm getting used to it, which is amazing. And so yeah, now that I've got my lashes done, we're on the way back to Leicester. I think we're going to go for Nando's, right? We're going to go for Nando's because we're both starving. We've just had breakfast and it's well it's uh, nearly 4 20 so until we get back to Leicester it's gonna be like easily five so yeah I think we're gonna go for Nando's now and that should be good but I'm so happy that I got my lashes done like it's been a while it's been a hot minute and it's just gonna make a huge difference to it's 
just gonna make a huge difference in general. So like getting ready is gonna be so much easier for me now. So oh, no, you're just fucking good. happy. Okay, so initially we were supposed to go to Nando's, but Nando's had like a 40 minute wait and me and Adol are now waiting for 40 minutes because we're starving. So it's just six o'clock. So we came to Tipu Sultan. It's like an Indian restaurant. It's like a five star Indian restaurant. It's really nice actually. So yeah, we just decided to go here instead. And I'm excited about the food actually because we're so starving, both of us. Like six o'clock and we haven't eaten literally hardly anything. We only had like our breakfast in the morning. And um, and now we got Papa Dom's. Hello. Yeah. And me and I are both wearing red. What is this? Being super cute or whatever. Just? Yeah, I've used mine already. Ooh la la. So yeah, we're gonna dig in, we're gonna eat. Okay, so we're gonna eat now and we will catch up with you guys in a bit of, in a little bit because we're both hungry and we can't think, so peace out. Yummy? You don't want the book? 